How wonderful is this tree? And of course, because this guy is in flower, it can only mean one thing. It's summer in Mauritius. That's coming up. So summer in Mauritius, of course, the first thing I want to talk about is the climate. And obviously this time of the year, it's gonna be hot. In fact, normally daytime temperatures are around 32 to 34 degrees with very high humidity. The summer season usually starts from November and runs through to April. And of course we can usually have uh, six to eight hours of sunshine per day, but also it tends to rain virtually every afternoon. An absolute must when you're on the island, pack some suntan lotion and a bottle of water because it gets super hot and that humidity is really high. Another thing I like to do is to pack an umbrella either in my bag or in the car because you never know, you can be out and about and you can get some rain. And this time of the year is when cyclones are actually most prevalent. And since I've lived here the five years that I've been on the island, I've actually experienced rather a large cyclone. It was called Bogita and that was a few years back. And that caused quite a lot of damage and destruction around the island. This was Frenchie's cafe behind me, which has now been completely destroyed. So if you're planning your trip at this time of the year and it's starting to bucket down, do factor in cyclones and pack that umbrella. I absolutely need this umbrella. Never leave without it. Another aspect of summertime in Mauritius that I absolutely love is the beautiful weather enables you to go on boat trips. And while you're here, if you can, a boat trip is a must because it just gives you a whole nother perspective of the island. My top tip for you would be to take a boat from La Belize and you can go all the way along the coast to a place called Ilo Benetier. And this is an awesome day excursion. Often, if you're lucky, you will find yourself being surrounded by some spinner dolphins. So many boats searching for dolphins. And they offer these as part of the package where you can swim with dolphins. And I promise you, there is nothing more magic than encountering these incredible creatures. There are a couple of great boating companies that I can highly recommend. In fact, my number one recommendation would be JPH. They're fantastic. I'm gonna leave a link down below. They offer catamaran cruises as well as speedboat cruises. And if you want as well, you can support the local fishermen who also have smaller boats and they can take you out on day trips too. The other place I love to go to, which is really close to Ile Benetier, is Paradis. You can literally moor your boat just off the hotel and the water is this incredible azure blue. There's some of the best snorkeling right here too. If you want, you can also swim to the beach and have some lunch at the hotel as they allow non-guests, non-hotel guests to enjoy lunch there. So that's my top tip for you too. The next aspect of summer that I have to share for you are the tropical fruits. And there are so many to choose from on the island. It is, of course, a tropical paradise. So you get lots of fruits like your pineapples, your bananas, lychees, mangoes, these are all very popular at this time of the year. When you drive around, you'll notice there are these fruit stalls everywhere you go. Particularly at this time of the year, they sell lychees and you can pick these up for about 150 rupees or 200 rupees a kilo, it just depends where you go. Often when you're driving around, you'll see lychee trees with coverings on them and those are to stop the bats because bats also like eating lychees. So another top tip for you, if you're on the island, do try the mangoes, the bananas, the lychees, and the pineapples because they are absolutely 
delicious. And then lastly, sorry I'm laughing because Dexter's decided he wants to be in the vlog. But lastly, I have to mention these guys, this tree, it's called the flamboyant tree. You find them all around Mauritius, particularly in December, they are flowering and aren't they just absolutely beautiful. These are the flowers and it's kind of like Mauritius' own Christmas tree. So there you have it. That is summer for you in Mauritius in a nutshell. Do come and visit. It's a really special place at this time of the year. Anyway, lots of videos for you to watch. I have a whole plethora of them on my YouTube page, so do check them out. And I will catch you on the next one. See you. Come on, next.